what's going on you guys and welcome to a new video today I'm going to show you an unboxing of something I wanted for a very long time and I think it's since the console actually came out I wanted this so let me show you guys uh, let, let's go with the simplest things first and I think you guys will figure it out all right so as I got this uh, uh, sheep I got a brand new uh, controller because the, the actual system did not come with an actual uh, controller in it so yeah it's not an official box but I don't I don't really need that for you know like the modern consoles it's more of a retro thing for me so I got my uh, PS4 controller and I should put this down it's pretty heavy right. just because I'm lazy so when I bought this I actually got this too like uh, an actual custom plate I don't know if I will put this on but I got it for free so that's pretty cool I like that that right there. Yeah, grab this ginormous goddamn box. Oh Jesus. So here it is. It's a like re recycled PS4, of course. So it's probably it got some stuff in it. And I got two games. I got uh, the Uncharted series because I always wanted to play Uncharted, so that's gonna be pretty fun to be able to play. I might do a Let's Play series, depends on what you guys want to see. This is a game I'm just going to play because I want to play something fun. Uh, it's a Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Uh, I was going to get it on... Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, I was going to get it on the Switch, but... Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, it's probably going to take too long, so I'm not going to be able to play it for a very long time. And trying to avoid spoilers is so hard. So we're gonna want to see what, what it was all about. So I'm gonna get for, to do that soon enough. But pretty nice, pretty nice indeed. All right, so let's put away this. Man, it's heavy. There we go. Now let's start with the small stuff right here. So I got. I guess we can start with the smallest thing. That's not that. It was actually free. I forgot to have this by my side. So, so it's what I'm gonna use for unboxings in the future. I'm a big fan of the Master Sword. So. Why not get a massive sword to open stuff? It's gonna be pretty fun. I'll put these to the side. Let's go for this one. So here you go, guys. Uh, I don't know if we need a massive sword for this one, but I always want to have it by my side just in case. I'm gonna probably throw this package away. I don't need it. Just an extra plate, you know. It's just one piece. The puzzle. So I'm gonna put that in the trash can right away, of course. So, oh. God, how big! It's not the big console compared to the Xbox One original. This is the PS4 original, by the way, as you guys know. Because I don't need the 4K resolution gaming. I can just save that for PC gaming eventually. Uh, and I don't even have a 4K monitor, so you know. This is the first time ever, guys. I'm actually gonna touch a PS4 controller. I never ever touched a PS4 controller before, so this is gonna be pretty sweet. I'm gonna keep this box as well, though. I kind of don't like these boxes when it's transparent because you can't display it like and all the Nintendo stuff behind me. It's more comfortable than the... I've, I've tried the PS1, the PS1, the PS2 and the PS3 I've tried. I kind of get why people like this controller a lot. It's not too complicated. It's a nice touch thing, I don't know if it's going to be useful. The only thing I don't like about this controller is that you have to get an entirely a new one if you want to have, like, a, if the battery dies. Hopefully, it won't die soon. Uh, so yeah, it's the same with the, the the Switch Pro controller. You can't, you probably can't switch the battery on that one. But I know for the fact that this one's not changeable. That's the reason why I don't like the controller. But other than that, pretty nice looking controller. All right. Put this stuff back. I might do like a decoy print of the controller in this, yes, so it's gonna look nice. Okay, what's this? Okay, I'm gonna put it back. It's gonna take too long to put stuff back, man. Jesus. Okay. 
think this is an old PS3 controller return or something. It looks that way, because the package is all messed up. Uh, maybe that's just what I did. I don't know. Uh, oh, I think I messed this up, maybe. Oh yeah, so let's put this right here. Then put it like that, put it like that. Put this through here, you know. Oh yeah, it's a return controller, I can tell. They have like duct tape on return stuff. God damn it, GameStop, I hate you sometimes, but I only have a GameStop in my area, so that's the only place I can buy video games locally. Otherwise, I would have to wait for PS... Like, there's no cheap PS4 consoles anywhere. For some reason. Well, I guess it's pretty popular, I guess. That's, that's probably why. I'm trying to close this trash. I'll probably edit out all the, the trial and error, but here we go. I got the box. I'm going to probably put a shrine of PlayStation. When I get more PlayStation stuff, but what I love about the PlayStation control, oh, I see. I thought this, the D-pad button was were separated, but they changed it with this one. Okay, pretty nice D-pad though. Mm, I'm not sure if I will play any like any shooter games on this PS4. Probably just adventure-like games. Uh, I'm probably going to get Rise of the Tomb Raider again and play it through on PlayStation, just to see how it is. So here we have the Dragon Ball Fighter Z, a brand new game. And the good thing is I get a three year warranty on this console, even though it's uh, cheap. So if I want to return it, I can, if I'm getting a better console, you know. I guess it's more if you break the console, you get a warranty function. I, I don't know. It's really expensive for just like 2,600 microns. I think it's around like about $300 or something for a really old console, but whatever. So here we have it. Let's see here. Oh, they have some extra stuff here. I don't know if it's actually used. Yeah, this game is brand new. So wherever codes are here, it's probably not used if there is any. Which I don't think there are, but uh eh. Got a game I wanted for a very long time, and I finally have it. Uh, I was thinking about getting this on Xbox One, but I was like, I want to actually get a PS4. That would be pretty cool, you know? Put that down. Got that game right there. Very beautiful. And I got the Uncharted game. So if I remove this uh, game security seal, I can't return it. So... Here goes nothing. I guess I could use my actual unboxing sword here. Okay. This this sword is not the best for this stupid security tab. I hate security tabs. Why did I put that on? I don't care if I if I want to if I want to return. I should be able to return it like within ten days or something. I don't have a stupid sticker to tell me. You can't return stuff anymore. They, they have to avoid the like, garbage. I have to remove that eventually. Okay. Probably use code in here. Which sucks. So I can't get a... Is it, I think it's three months of PlayStation. Yeah, it's probably used. Uh, oh, there's a multiplayer beta for the Uncharted 4 game. I never got to play that. It was way too far in the past, so... Not for me. I think this game was around, like, less than $30, I think. I'm not really sure. Maybe, like, 35 or something. It's fine by me, though. And if you guys want to add me on PlayStation, I will have my PlayStation ID. I'm just going to try to remove this goddamn sticker. I actually want to have a double camera setup eventually, but right now it's just going to be... Uh, one camera, so yeah, pretty small. So let me just switch to the next thing. Let's go for the actual console this time. Just gotta move all this stuff away so it's all clear. All right. It's not visible on the camera. Alright guys, let's go for the next thing. Where did I put it? Here, oh it's on the side. Right here. 
I'm putting like four security labels. I don't care. I'm gonna throw this box away. I don't really care about this stupid box. God damn it. I'm gonna use the sword maybe if it's gonna work. I'm not sure. It's really hard to remove this goddamn security tab. Damn. Got it though. This console was sent from the headquarters of GameStop in Sweden, so it could be from Stockholm. But there's no one in Stockholm returned their uh, like PlayStation 4 here. Okay. Probably need to have a sharper thing knife to for this, but eh, I'm good with this knife. It's all you know. I'm gonna probably like probably sharpen it so it's gonna be easier to open stuff. But don't say anyone I said. Don't tell anyone I said that. Okay. There's a box within a box, apparently. Just to show you that. <sighs> Probably gonna have some fun if it's for that. It's not good to say that though, but you know. And I got my trusty master sword to slide it open. So I can play PlayStation games with using a Nintendo weapon from a Nintendo franchise. <laughs> It's kind of weird, I guess. It's kind of an ironic opening something from another company with a Master Sword Zelda. And it looks like they sent it to me, but I actually got it in the store. So I don't want to show you guys the receipt. That's kind of stupid of me if I do. So it's kind of a weird type of bubble wrap in this. We got the toggle cord. And then we've got a USB cable for the controller, apparently. But no controller? Did I get an extra controller? No. It's not. Man, this is heavy. Whoa, it's way heavier than the Xbox One, actually, for some reason. And I got another HMI cord, yay! But this one is, this is weird. I kind of want to reuse this if I'm going to send some big stuff. Maybe even a giveaway or something. So here it is, first time actually seeing it in person. I hope this is not the one one of those who actually overheated. I can just get my money back if that's the case. So yeah. Got two USBs on the front. Right here. It's two USBs. If you haven't seen a PS4 controller uh, console, there's uh, two USBs on the front right there. I think you can see them. And there's uh Ethernet, very nice. So I can plug the Ethernet cable I have, but I don't think I can plug it right now. Because I have uh, other stuff in other places. And I think it's a port for PlayStation VR stuff still. So you can actually connect that here. You just get a separate box with PlayStation VR. So I might get that in the future. We've got an HDMI port and we've got a, a power plug. And we've got the GameStop sticker on the back. I think that's a warranty sticker right there. I don't know if you can see it. It's really hard to see. I think it's uh, right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, it's pretty pretty bad, far away, the camera, you know. <laughs> so yeah, well, it's going to be pretty fun. Can I actually remove this uh, plate somehow? I wonder how you do it. I don't know, I kind of want to keep it black. I just got the extra stuff because it was free, you know, so I guess sell it further away, I guess. Because I like a pure black console, having a little boost thing on it, I, I would like to change the entire case to be light blue. Like, uh, I don't like, this place, place is shiny. No wonder no one is buying these. Like, it's fingerprint magnet. This is just matted out. What the hell? I'm not gonna use that. I'm just gonna put it in a box or something. I don't care. All right, so I have the cables. It's a, um, I think it's a micro USB, right? Yeah, micro USB, so I have another one of those. I have the power cord. I did, why was there no controller here? That's kind of weird. Whatever. But I, I got a free controller anyway. They just took an... I guess it was a cheap controller actually. So I didn't get a brand new one. But I got one. And it's pretty nice feeling like... Huh? Well that was it. Let me just turn this around. That was my unboxing of the PlayStation 4. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys... In the future, and I'm thinking about, like, leave in the comments below if you would like to see a Uncharted uh, Trilogy playthrough or 
a Dragon Ball Fighter C, and whenever I see the comments, I'll start doing it. I'm probably gonna play it off off video recording because I want to play it on my own time, the Dragon Ball Fighter game. But I'm gonna play it on the playthrough as well. I think like a walkthrough. It depends on what I want to do. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys had fun hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're having an awesome time. All right. Bye-bye, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and other stuff. Yeah, like animations and stuff. All right. Bye-bye.